This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the fourth day of May. I'm James Spann, getting set to cruise into a warm, humid, muggy, summer-like weekend. Let's check some of the Skycam shots around the network early this morning at the somewhat insane hour of 5 a.m. That's downtown Birmingham, as seen from the Daniel Building looking south. Got some low clouds over the city, but no rain. The rain is gone for now. There's the Fayette County Courthouse up in northwest Alabama. And way down south, that's the sky cam on the eastern shore of Mobile Bay at Daphne, where their rain total uh, Wednesday and the Thursday morning was almost one foot, 11.47 inches. Wow. But that uh, plume of tropical moisture that brought the rain yesterday has clearly moved on to the east. That's the water vapor satellite view. And you can see we are in a drier air mass today. So uh, we think most locations will be dry today with morning clouds giving way to a partly sunny afternoon while the serious wave action stays north of us. Severe weather risks today for cities like Des Moines and Indianapolis and Omaha. Also to the west over parts of Texas and to the northeast over parts of the mid and upper Atlantic coast. Tomorrow... The guys at SPC have dropped that risk for us, and I think that's the right call. There could be a strong storm that pops up, like a summer day, but organized severe weather, I don't think it's very likely. The uh, risk is well to the north and west. We do have the low-end 5% probabilities over northeast Alabama. And then day three, which is Sunday, got a risk of severe weather for much of Missouri and some of the adjacent states. There's the rain for the next five days. This is valid through Tuesday evening at 7 o'clock. Bigger numbers just north and east of here. And, you know, we're getting into that time of the year where the convection is scattered and, you know, making these maps, it's pretty hard to do when the rain is a hit and miss proposition. Uh, But generally speaking, that's probably about right. Let's look at modeling. This is the OZGFS at 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars. Got uh, flat ridging across the deep south, the light northwest flow aloft. And again, uh, you know, there could be a shower somewhere, but if any pops up today, probably well down to the south, and the high should be in the mid-80s today. All right, tomorrow as we kick off the weekend, a lot of outdoor stuff. So let's see if we can solve it. Uh, It's like a summer day, you know. Uh, There should be sufficient moisture and instability for a few pop-up showers and storms, but... Here on a Friday morning, I can't tell you when and where those things will pop up. It's frustrating, but it's just a limitation of the science. It's going to be awfully warm, highs in the upper 80s. And it looks like the chance of any one spot getting wet will be about one in three. And pretty much the same deal on Sunday. Uh, Upper 80s, maybe some spots touching 90. There could be a few scattered showers around, but scattered is the key word, so... Out at the uh, Super Speedway for the NASCAR fans at Talladega this weekend. Very warm, muggy, bring the sunscreen. Just be aware there could be a brief shower or maybe a brief storm out there, but rain should not be a big problem. All right, next week on Monday, we'll watch that uh, strong wave digging down through the northern states. We've got energy on the southwest, and, you know, uh, before we've seen the GFS want to phase all of that up, but now it just wants to focus on the northern branch. And down below that, Monday, the moisture is a bit deeper, so showers and storms could be a little more active on Monday with highs in the 80s. And the same thing on Tuesday. Pretty good moisture axis and a cold front coming in here. And look at that 540 line up north. Maybe some snowflakes flying around for May in Minnesota and Wisconsin. And Wednesday, look here. We've got that deep trough over the east. It really never phased up with the upper low that's over northern Baja, but still, that's a deep trough. And down below that, if this is right, all of a sudden Wednesday, we go cool and dry. Uh, If this is right, we won't get out of the 70s with a fresh north breeze and a mostly sunny sky. So if this trend keeps up, we'll just yank out all the rain and the chances on Wednesday and go with a sunny and cooler forecast. Thursday looks delightful. We could start the day in the 40s in some spots. Nice, cool morning. Highs only in the mid-70s. The GFS is showing 76. That's considerably cooler than average. And a week from today, just gorgeous weather. Very comfortable. Uh, Lows in the 40s and low 50s and highs in the 70s. Sounds good to me. We'll check that following weekend just for the fun of it. This is Saturday, May 12th that the system that was over the southwestern states is just creeping along, and we're still dry. And on Sunday the 13th, we're still dry. But keep in mind, we have seen other solutions that look wet. Confidence out there in that weekend is pretty low. And by the way, one more thing. I wanted to show you the uh, European, just for the fun of it. This is Thursday. 
of this week. And look at the trough over the east. Wow. And it digs this upper low that's uh, uh, over the Piedmont. And, and, you know, if by chance that's right, it could be kind of cloudyish and maybe even a slight chance of a shower on uh, Wednesday and Thursday. But again, clearly that is much, much, much cooler. And uh, that old hot summer is going to be here and we'll take whatever we can get. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog next video by 3.30 or so today. And uh, don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10, either on the television side or on the live stream anywhere in the world. That's it uh, for the video today. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.